So hello everyone, my name is Al Usman Jarir Haji Ali Kumaradang, a grade 12 student from Humanities and Social Sciences. Before I start, this video is all about the contemporary arts and history of the place Tanay Rizal. Now, let's start in Tanay Rizal. Someone already featured the art of stone, sculpturing, but as he go further in his travel in Tanay Rizal, who thought that there is also another form of art from a heavy, hard, and strong creation of God, the so-called rock. So, according in geology, a rock is a naturally occurring solid aggregate of one or more minerals or mineraloids. For example, the common rock granite is a combination of the quartz, feldspar, and biotite minerals. Moreover, rocks were already used during Stone Age as their primary tools. But nowadays, rocks are being used to perform such as form of art and that is rock balancing. And as per wiki, rock balancing is an art, discipline, or hobby depending upon the intent of the practitioner in which rocks are being balanced on top of one another in various positions. There are no tricks involved to aid the balancing such as adhesives, wires, supports, or rings. Rock balancing is made manually. Now, in the Philippines, rock balancing was founded in September 2010. There is this proponents who popularized, organized, and introduced this form of art in Tanay named Leandro Tamayo Innocencio. Leandro Tamayo advocates for greener and cleaner environment. The very reason why he introduced this art is not only performing or exhibiting it, yet to persuade the locals to support his project named The Journey for the Trees. This project tends to give awareness and promoting environmental awareness and life conservation through conducting such exhibition of rock balancing. And now let's proceed to the four acrylic paintings of Tanay Rizal artists. So the first one is the artwork of Joe Florendo, a yellow petals that was made in a 24 by 18 canvas in 2017. And the second one is the artwork of painter Anithon, which he named it as Still Life that was made of 30 by 24 canvas in 2017. While the third one is the artwork of Ramon Pigwing, where he named it as Bulaklak sa Panahon that was made of 24 by 24 canvas in 2017. And the last one is the artwork of Justin Espirito, where he named his art as Tag Ani that was made of 24 by 30 canvas. These four acrylic paintings of Tanay Rizal is located at Nineva Arts Base. And lastly, the history of Tanay Rizal. Tanay was settled by early Austronesian people shortly after the conquest and subjugation of Manila by the Spaniards and the surrounding lake areas by Juan de Salcedo in 1570-1574. Franciscan missionaries arrived to Christianize the inhabitants of what they call as the Morong Pilila area. In 1583, both Morong and Pililla were created as separate towns with Tanay forming part of Pilila. Tanay was founded as a separate Pueblo town in 1606 under the name of Monte de Tanay. In 1620, administration was moved to San Antonio and now called Inalsan or Pantay and Tandang Kutyo. Tanay became a municipality in, in 1894 as an effect of the Spanish Maura law. The first election of public office took place in 1895 to 1898 and 1898 to 19s under the revolutionary government of the Philippines. In October 2003, the post Philippine President Josef Estrada was transferred to a rest home in a Sampaloc, a mountain barangay. He remained under house arrest until he was given executive clemency by President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. And lastly, during the typhoon Ketsana Undoy, on September 26, 2009, Tanay was one of the hardest 
heat towns due to the rising of Laguna Lake and the flooding of Tanay River. So that's it for this video and once again I am Alusman Jarir Hajali Kumaradang, your speaker.